Changing rain showers and probably some storms. Is that right, Clay? Yeah, Calvin, absolutely. We're going to be tracking out our next round of scattered showers and storms later this evening as a cold front approaches. But first, things are calm this morning. We have the sun out. Temperatures are mild, 75 in Chattanooga, 80 in Nashville. So plenty of warm, moist air all across the southeast, mid-south, and midwest. And as we take a look at those local temperatures, 67 in Murphy, the cool spot, 72 in Athens and Cleveland, 73 in Dalton and Dayton, and 75 here in the scenic city. And speaking of the scenic city, there's the sun. It's up just a few clouds taking a look to the east over holiday in cam. It's going to be a gorgeous start to your Sunday fun day current setup again. Here's the cold front that's going to be approaching from the northwest. That's going to give us that extra lift. We already have a warm, moist air mass in place, so we'll have those showers and storms popping up very quickly as we move into the evening hours. First part of your day looking good. So if you want to head out to a picnic after church or if you just want something to do into one of our local parks across the Tennessee Valley, things are looking a OK. Temperatures climbing into the 80s. It is going to be humid out there, and of course you want the sunscreen anytime you head out during the summer months as the UV index is going to be on the high side once again, but again, we're really not worried with any rain chances until later on in the day. Notice through noon still dry. Just a few pop up showers into Western North Carolina, and as we go into your afternoon, the chance for a popcorn shower or two going to be possible. Now, very similar to what we had yesterday. There was a storm that developed pretty much right over local three studios. We had a half an inch of rain, but at the Chattanooga Airport and portions of the eastern half of the city had nothing at all, so that'll be the case. There's going to be winners and there's going to be losers and some of us are going to get a lot more rain than others, but it looks like at least everyone is going to see some sort of rain. And as we take a look at your future cast 10 o'clock again, here's that front really producing some of those showers that's going to push off to the south as we go into the overnight hours by two o'clock. Most of the activity is kind of concentrated across North Georgia, and Northeast Alabama, and it looks like the latest model guidance actually has this shifting out of here Monday. So initially it looked the cold front was going to come through Monday morning. Now it looks like late Sunday night into the early, early hours of Monday. And by the time we wake up on Monday, the morning commute should be all right as most of the rain is going to move out and then we'll have some sunshine arriving as we move into your Monday evening. So for the rest of today, again, that severe threat is going to be there, especially for the evening hours and into early Sunday night. So between I'm thinking 6 p.m. and about midnight, your best chance for any strong storms is a low end threat level one out of five marginal risk, but there will be the potential for a few storms becoming severe with 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts, small hail and frequent lightning also could be some pretty heavy rain as we track out the rest of your Sunday again after six o'clock. That's when those rain chances really start to jump up. And then after nine o'clock, we're really going to have a pretty good chance of widespread rain potentially across the Tennessee Valley. And again, it's going to be feast or famine as far, far as rainfall totals are concerned. Some may pick up a quick inch or two if you get under a heavy storm. Some may be closer to the tenth of an inch to maybe a quarter of an inch. But again, this is going to be very beneficial rain regardless. We need it. It's been very dry over the last month. We're running about a two inch deficit for the month of June. June. So again, hopefully we all get some rain without the severe weather today, but before that rain arrives, it's going to be hot and humid temperatures topping out in the 90s. South winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour tonight, 72 scattered storms, muggy light winds out of the south. But check out these temperatures Monday after this front pushes through. Yeah, we're talking mid 80s. Not bad for summertime. Two showers possible Tuesday and Wednesday, but notice it's only about a 10% chance. And then those rain chances bump up Friday into Saturday with temperatures returning to near 90 degrees.